What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We have Iron Man today. Iron Man with his infinity, well not his infinity gauntlet, but the infinity gauntlet. This is from a pretty cool fan art, or like a poster art by someone called Ultra Raw, Ultra Raw 26. So I thought it was pretty deadly, so I give it a go. And um, kind of different style Iron Man. But yeah, let's go. Landscape paper, use a pencil and an eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast, okay? So we're gonna start with, where do we start? Start with his eyes. I've got like multiple Sharpies here, sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe this one, let's see how this goes. So I'm on landscape paper. I don't know if I said that already. Let's go, <laughs> so professional. Center point of my page about here. We're just gonna move down. And we're gonna do a kind of just a curved line across the top of his eyes, right? So starting sort of here, the width of his eyes. And we're gonna just go, we're gonna just go across like that, right? This sort of curved line across. Like that. So the eyes are kind of different than this, but we'll, we'll do our best. So. Let's say up here, right? So we've got like a bit of a diagonal line goes like down here, right? And something similar. Let me just a little bit more. Just gonna put that down here. This one probably slightly different eyes, but we'll bring it up to there. And then so we'll put like an angle on the corner there okay now the inside angle on his eyes so we'll go here and say here right and then this has like a little point coming down the middle just for like pointing down towards his nose or something right then you're going to join these two points so We'll do the bottom of his eye, so it just like goes down, kind of into this corner, to there, right? And you do sort of the same thing here. So just go down, around, and like into there. Okay, so real thin eyes. And then his actual blue section of eye, right? So it'll go sort of out from the corner. We go here. And then it just comes down into there. Right? And this is black around for shadow. And you can make these eyes as slender as you want. So this is like the blue glowing eye section, right? That and maybe we'll just add a shadow here as well. Okay, so dark black around the eye. Let me do the same thing over here. And then just a little sort of angle sticking off here. Okay. Like that, so that's what we're dealing with for eyes. So then, so we'll give him a bit of an edge line just coming across here, so like, just like this broken line, just to show it kind of has an edge here. Right, like so. So then, his golden face plate, okay? So it kind of comes down from the corner of these eyes, right? So it'll go down this way, right? And it kind of curves in around for his cheek first. Okay. And then this goes down this way. Okay. 
right in there and we've got like his mouth here so there's a couple of different so we get a couple of angles right so it goes down like so and then his mouth comes across in here right so it goes down up down up and then across like so so the bottom part of the gold plate you go down up again down up again and across like that And then he seems to have like a light line just here coming up his cheek. Just a raised sort of armor plate coming up his cheek here. Something else in there. Like that. And then lines on his mouth there. So the red part of the mask. So it comes down in line with these two down towards his chin which just comes across here and then this will go up like so like that and then we'll change direction for kind of his jaw area around the edge This up a little bit higher, maybe. So like there. And then this will start to go up around his head, right? So it'll go real close to this golden section. Up here. So then we're going to bring his head up and around, right? So we're going to go up like so and in, up like so and in. And then we're just going to go around and then we'll break it up into different armor plate sections because there is a few different ones. So in there, like extra details, so like armor, sort of different lines and stuff coming down his face. Another sort of, there's another section here on the middle. And then another. Something else coming up. On his eye. So four like here. Up and in. Up and in. This goes up to the top. Like so. Slightly different to other Iron Man designs. Down. Across. Up like that, and then there's like an extra line coming down here, like a box. Like that, and then one that goes around his head, so it comes up from the corner of the eye here, goes around the back, goes in down again to the corner there. We do the same thing on this side. Up, steps in, goes down to there. And then there's like another line here. And then another line here. 
center of his head is broken up again into different sh shapes and plates. In there. And then some more on top. It's always interesting when people do something different than everyone. Like they can make. Another one here. Up to there. Down. You're just kind of copying the other side. Up to there. And then if you want to add like scratches and you know sort of dents and cracks stuff that is always a good idea okay but that's pretty much his head and that's all gold and red so then his neck right so we've got like a neckline going down here and his other neck his body is like turned away right so We've got like two different types of neckline. So this one goes down that way. And then it has another edge. And then his trapezius goes there. All right, we'll just get the general shape for the body and then we'll add all the details. His other trapezius is there. And then we have his arm coming up here, okay? So we've got like a big shoulder sort of plate here. And then this will go up like this, right? The other side of that, his wrist goes down. Forearm kind of sticks out here. And then we've got another big sort of armor plate here. And the other side of his shoulder there. And this goes down eventually off his body. So, this is all broken up into different sort of shapes. So before we do the hand, we'll just do his shoulder out here. Like that, and then he's got like a chest plate here. And that chest plate comes across his chest, sort of here. So, and then goes down behind this arm. So it goes down here somewhere. Yeah, down that way. Okay, so that's kind of what we're dealing with armor wise. So we'll just do the shape for his hand, right? So hands are always tricky, but we'll just go up the side here. So we'll go. Up, change direction there, and then his kind of thumb here, and then into there, right? Okay, so then the other side of his hand, so it goes out. To there, he goes out again, bumps again, and then we got like four knuckles, right? So we go up, over, all angles because he's you know mechanical. So you just go down. See, second, up, across, down, and then up. Cross down past the thumb because the, the hand covers the sort of thumb here. Like that. Now, so details all inside, right? That's our main shape. So pause there. Sketch it out lightly. Okay. So then stuff all inside. I'm going to start this side and kind of work my way across and then up, right? 
So let's just start over here with his shoulder and I'll try and Okay, so yeah, this is just like broken up into all different boxes and stuff. So we got like diagonal shape there. This has got like a light or something inside. Like that. And then some diagonal lines there. Something that's coming across here. there and then something else going that way and again you can add like some scratches and stuff like that and then more stuff up here just kind of breaking things up into different boxes and trying to make it look as mechanical as possible and then some more here. Like so, another one. Oops. So there we go, that. Scratches. And then, so his chest, he's got the arc reactor inside, so it's turned sort of, his chest is kind of turned a little bit, right? So we have this curved line here. So that's like the central line for his chest because it's turned away from us. And then this goes down. This goes down that way. And then around. Around here. And then we go up like that. All right, and then a couple of different shapes inside this. So we kind of go same sort of thing. So it goes like up and you just kind of trace the outside edge. Down there, maybe like another line just inside. that and then so let's see so we got like another sort of chest armor line here and another one going up from the corner here and then there's a line going up towards the corner edge. Another one there. And this is all broken up then into different sections again. Down that way. Something else on this side. So we'll go down there, down there. And some edge lines over here, so come across here, and then some edge bands kind of lines coming down this way. Another one going across that edge there, like that. There and again. Maybe a, a dent or something here. Making Iron Man look all rough and scratched up. Instantly makes him look cooler. Right. 
Okay, so now the arm. So ba, 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 ba. Okay, so armor. So let's say like a sort of a shoulder curve there. And then like inside here more sort of plates and junctions and you're just kind of breaking them up. And then the forearm armor starts here. Goes up out joins that. And then we have another plate here, say. Goes around there. There. This is another plate there. This has an edge. Comes around, down, and then more, you guessed it, more plates of armor. Like that, to there. And then some sort of curved lines here. So you're just like sort of breaking it up and adding edges and things. Some lines that kind of curve around. Like so. And then, so his forearm plate goes into a wrist junction sort of plate. So again, it's broken up again, it's like a glove or something. Just here, kind of bulges out here a little bit. I'll just thicken that up. Right, and this will have a little edge to it, like that. And then all these plate lines running down here. edges just like trying to make them look kind of like tracks or something that run down his arm like so and then these kind of run up his glove as well so they go so say we'll do we'll do one of the shapes for the infinity stone here so we'll go just so we know where the power is sort of running to it's hard to see because he has all these effects put into it we'll just go we'll make it up right i don't usually like making it up but it's kind of like this shield here right and then more in here they're circular he went with circular sort of shapes so these are the other infinity stones up here right so one two Another one, three, and then a fourth just here on the edge. All right, so then all shapes for his hand coming out from here, right? So different armor sort of stuff here. And then like another sort of glove line here. I'm saying glove, I know it's like armor, but it's just, I'm imagining it's a glove, it kind of helps, you know? Well, I guess it is. It's just a big metal glove. And then, like, energy lines or something. Tracks. Different sort of armor plates. 
broken up. You're just kind of breaking it up into different sections. You could do it differently to mine. It doesn't have to be, you know, exactly the same. And then again, more up here. So this is like a sort of a hand place that goes in and down. It's kind of like broken up here. Something else goes right into there. Edge. Some lines there. And then there seems to be like knuckle sort of lines here coming around the bottom of these. Because it's like the infinity stones are sitting into it. So it goes up and down and then some lines come around these like that and then we have tracks of energy or lines going in they're like they're connected to one another you know like that and then an infinity stone inside here one and we'll do it in angles just to make it look like a sort of a gemstone and then just round ones inside here and then we just add some angles to his knuckles and stuff So, right, and then something that benefits drawings like this is usually like thickening up the edge of your character, just to add in more sort of thick edge. Right, so I just thicken up some of the edges and just under around its chin and some of the main armor plates. But that is the basic idea, guys. That is how to draw Iron Man with the Infinity Gauntlet. Or the Infinity Stones in his suit, should I say. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.